an epic breakwater journey next. Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for March 28th. We crossed the giant Provincetown breakwater in the second half of the show, but first, let's take a look at news. Nationally known portrait painter Nancy Craig lost her Truro house to a fire yesterday afternoon, likely caused by a faulty appliance. No one was injured, but it was a sad scene in the woods, with sooty artwork being removed from the home. Cape Cass was there. Here are some sights and sounds. Speaking of sights and sounds, excavation work continued yesterday around the Kelly Cottage on North Beach in Chatham as workers prepared to move the house away from the hungry, eroding ocean that has already claimed several homes. Staff photographer Steve Heslop sent back this video. Hey folks, Cape Cass headed to the Cape Tip yesterday and made a brave attempt to amble across the Provincetown breakwater. Sure, China has that big wall, that, that great wall, but Cape Cod has the breakwater here in Provincetown's west end. I mean, a mile out there, tons of rock, a couple lighthouses, and a big adventure. We cross it, hopefully, right now. We begin in the beginning of the breakwater and plan to walk across the breakwater to the other end of the breakwater, where we will celebrate and then return. Well, we've got some very alarming sounds coming from in between the rocks here on the breakwater. Let's see if we can get a mic on this. All right, let's venture down. Okay, we're ready for the fourth race of the day here at Breakwater Downs for two-year-old Mallards, and they're up! Jumping to an early lead, it's Quacky, followed by Pecky and Daffy with Fluffy bringing up the rear. They're into the first turn, and here comes Orange Sauce on the outside. Halfway home, it's Orange Sauce, Quacky and Pecky. Orange Sauce, Quacky and Pecky, but here comes Fluffy on the inside as we flap to home. Fluffy, Quacky, Pecky, it's Fluffy at the wire by a beak! One of the tough things about the breakwater is about halfway, you're going almost straight up, trying to pull yourself up with sheer granite face, trying to avoid... Well, we made it to the island, uh, if it is an island. Probably uninhabited. I'm the only person here, as far as I can tell. A lonely outpost at the far end of the Cape. Me and them. Now let's cross over to the world of sports. Meet Taryn Van Esselstein, Chatham's all-time girls basketball scoring champ in today's In the Zone feature in the Cape Cod Times sports section. Okay, let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by a walk across the Sandwich Boardwalk Bridge. For tonight, a chance of rain with a low around 33. For Saturday, mostly cloudy with a high near 39. And for Sunday, sunny with a high near 40. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for March 28th. Till next time, see you. Cape Cast. Rash speculation with no basis in fact indicates that this behind me is the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gichigumi. This isn't a lake, but can be a perilous passage. Back to you.